Hello, I'm Bill Zajewski, CMO of Exceda Corporation. Our software provides solutions for connecting machines, for managing machine data, and for implementing Internet of Things and M2M applications and solutions. Uh, we like to think of our solution as the machine cloud, and our mantra is very simple. We take that raw machine data and turn it into useful information. Uh, we really unleash that machine data to unlock the value in the machine. Sometimes people think of us as middleware for the M2M space, a way to get that machine data into your enterprise. But what is the value of machine to machine or Internet of Things? What is the return of that investment? What I'd like to talk about today is what we refer to as our value curve. So the exceed of value curve uh, shown here has six levels. Level one is really where everyone is before they connect. And level two, you get into uh, putting some kind of agent or connectivity on your machine and starting to collect that machine data and at least store it for future use. The value really starts here with level three. This is where you start to remotely monitor, remotely diagnose, and remotely troubleshoot issues and, and increase your value of service. I think the biggest value here is going to be around just delivering world-class service. Right? And you're going to measure your return here by the number of decreased visits you'll have to a site, by the increase in first-time uh, fixed rates, by the reduction of call lengths, et cetera. The next thing you do typically, and it's almost the maturity curve we see, although some people jump right to level six and five, but typically they go into analyzing the data. And there they're looking for some kind of business insights, right? How can we improve the product design by understanding uh, the usage? How can we understand what the defects are by looking at kind of the behavior? And in some cases, uh, they may also start to get into predictive maintenance where you can look at early indicators of data that shows you when something's about to fail. But bottom line here, level four, the value is really going to be about giving your enterprise, giving your company more business insights into the use of your machines, equipment, assets, products, whatever you want to call that connected thing. Okay. Level five gets into the integration of machine data into your business systems, right? Into your CRM, ERP, PLM systems. This is about taking the data and enhancing things you already do, whether it's field service, whether it's recalls, warranty, consumable management, inventory management, sales, marketing. There are processes where real-time data is going to enhance those processes that you already have. This is really about improving business processes. And lastly, level six. Level six is where you start to provide value to your end customer. These buckets here, these first three, are really about value to your enterprise, to you. But if you put that machine data in your end user's hands, it's going to reinvent the product experience, right? It's going to allow them to have things like a smartphone or a tablet application or a web portal that gives them access to the data so they can do self-service, so they can understand their usage, uh, et cetera, right here. Here, it's really about creating a highly differentiated offering, right? And that differentiation is going to give you a competitive advantage for people who are selling similar machines, similar equipment, right? It's going to allow you to increase maybe the your win ratio, your market share, and your overall sales. So bottom line here, uh, once you connect, don't just start at service, start to analyze that data, gain more business insights, start to integrate that data into your back-end systems to improve your business processes, and start to give your end users new applications, value-added applications that differentiate your offering. You'll see, as a summary here, there's plenty of value to be attained from connecting your machines and assets. Thank you very much.